Hey YouTube, this is Sachpreet Das, and I am new to A20 Productions. So basically, I am going to be doing a few tutorials on After Effects, and I'll also be releasing a lot of templates for either YouTube intros or um, uh, anything that I get requested. Um, Alex's email is in the description, so just uh, send him any emails, and I will respond to those emails. You can send me either questions, suggestions for new videos, or um, even just requests for doing Final Cut Pro or Cinema 4D tutorials because I'm pretty good at uh, those too. So basically today I'm going to be teaching you the basics of After Effects in a short amount of time and this tutorial is aimed towards the people that just got After Effects and are unsure of what everything is or just have had it for a while but have never meant to be um, using it seriously. So I'll be going over a few of the basics. I'm sorry if you are a um, exper experienced After Effects user um, but I have to go over every single detail because uh, I don't want to miss anything. So um, I, I'm for this tutorial I'm going to be using After Effects CS5 and uh, once you have After Effects open you'll see there's really nothing you can do until you create a new composition. So to create a composition, there are three ways of doing that. One, you can either click this button right here that says create a new composition. Or two, you can go to composition, new composition, or you can just use the shortcut, three, command or control N. Oh, by the way, I'm using a Mac for this tutorial. So um, if you have a Windows, it's no problem. They're very similar for After Effects. So um, right here, there's the preset box. That's just basically seeing the uh, the uh, frame size for the video and just uh, different settings. Um, you can match it to your camera, a freezing camera, or um, just random videos. So I'm just going to be using good old 720p for this tutorial. This is just the pixel aspect ratio. The frame rate, um, not too big of a deal. Resolution, full. And uh, right here is the duration. So if you're noticing that you can't... Um, have long clips like playing because the duration set at 10 or whatever um, 10 seconds like right right now I have it set at 20 seconds you can just set it at whatever you want however long the clip is or how or just extremely long time so it's like you can just set it for let's see you can just set it for 10 minutes if you want right now if you're not sure how long it is and then later you can go in and change it by going to composition composition settings or command K and then changing it from there Okay, so once you've created the new composition, you'll see there's a black box open right here. And if the black box is are too um, too large or too small for your screen size, you can go to um, this magnification um, box right here. Just hit the drop down arrow, and you can either select the percentage or you can just press fit or fit up to 100%, and that'll just fit it up to your screen size. So um, now let me just go over the a um, couple of panels that are open right now. This is the project panel and it also has the effects control panel. The project panel basically shows all the imported files and all the compositions and pre-compositions. And the effects control, a part of this um, area of the screen, this area um, basically just uh, shows you all the effects that are applied to each um, layer and there, from there you can just edit it using the effects controls. This is a timeline right here, and this just shows you all the layers um, and just how long they are just for really easy editing. This is where most of the editing actually happens. Right here, I'll just show you all the layers that are opened. This is the composition screen. just shows you the um, either various layers by selecting what la whatever layer you want or the whole entire composition. This, this side panel right here just um, will vary depending on whatever you want to add to that side panel. For me, I mainly use the effects and presets, tracker, and audio. So this, that's just my setup. Um, it's the default setup, so just whatever, you, whatever you're comfortable with, you can um, edit that. So um, now let's just go with one of the most basic things in After Effects, but it's also something that I get asked a lot. How do you import a file? So it's really quite simple. You just have to go to File, Import, File, or you can also hit Command I and select any file. So I just pre recorded this 
file right here. It pops up in the project panel right here. And to get it into the timeline, all you have to do is drag the file and drop it right here. And it's as easy as that. So, yeah, no, my hair looks ridiculous. My face does too. It's all good though. So, um, right here, I'm pretty sure you noticed this happening. See, right here, it's a gray bar at the top of this clip, and it's a green bar right here. Why does this happen? Well, it's actually, um, to explain that, let me redrag it. When you first get a clip into the timeline, you'll notice that it's all gray. The reason for this is that it isn't rendered. So, if you want to render this, um, everything in your timeline, all you have to do is hit play or a spacebar, and it'll render as it's playing. Okay, so that's just what you do before you export it. So now that you have the clip in here, what can you do to edit it? So, um, let's see. There's the first, there's the tools that you use to, um, just depend, depends on whatever you want to do. This is a selection tool, just you can move it around, select different objects. The scrubbing tool just scrubs the whole entire screen around. Then um, the zoom tool. This is the unified camera tool for using um, 3D editing and the rotation tool. Just um, If you just hover your mouse over it, it'll explain to you what it is. So um, you just have to use the tool and it'll. it's just really straightforward on how you have to use the tool. Okay. And so now that's the toolbox. Now, um, how do you add effects to a clip? All you have to do is hit, go to the effects tab. So choose whatever effect you want. Blur and sharpen. Gaussian blur. Let's just go with that. Now, um, it'll, if you, um, the default setting is that when you apply it to the clip, it'll open up in the effects control right here. This is how you edit the effects. So blurriness, let's just increase that a lot. That's the Gaussian blur. It's just pretty, really, really straightforward. This portion of After Effects is just really well done, very user friendly. So now let's move on to what these little controls are. These controls are for enabling different options such as motion blur and keyframes, automatic keyframes right there. Those just, um, if you hover your mouse over it, it'll tell you what it does and draft 3D. All just basic. If you have any questions on these, you can ask me. In um, through Alex's email, and I will explain everything. These um, these little boxes right here, actually, uh, you may or may not have these. If you do not, you can try dragging or just switching the modes. But um, these boxes just have various um, uses. This is the motion blur. This is a 3D box. So, and um, this is a parent box for parenting it to another um, another layer. So basically, locking it in place. So. That's all for um, this area of the screen. Now let me just explain to you very quickly what this area is. This is the effects and pretext, um, presets box. This lets you just um, search for whatever effect you want. And then let's just find Twitch. This is an external effect by, um, by Video Copilot, actually. You just drag it to the clip and let go. And then now the effect is in the area. So, this is just for speed. Now, if you look, it's moving. Okay, so um, now after you've done all your editing, um, by the way, if, again, if you have any questions, if I haven't gone over anything, I can. Um, you can just send me a uh, request for another video or just a, a, a mere question. Um, tr like, you can leave me YouTube comments, but that would not be as preferred because I may not be able to get to you as quickly as there might be many comments. So um, now that we're done editing the clip, um, hypothetically, to uh, render the clip for playback you just have to hit the play button and then watch as it'll, it may appear slow or laggy but that's normal. It'll just be like that while it's rendering the clip because it's rendering as it goes. Alright, so let's just pretend I am done with this clip. Oh, um, actually, you may be seeing me doing this here. If you want to adjust the size of the clip, you can just adjust the size like that. And that just shortens the clip. So now if you see... Actually, no, that doesn't shorten the clip. I'm sorry. 
That actually just speeds up the clip. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so now let's just pretend I am done with this, um, editing this clip. Now, um, if you have Adobe Premiere Pro or Elements, you can actually just export this into Adobe Premiere uh, um, Elements by just mirror, like, just exporting it by going to Export and Adobe Premiere Pro Project. So it will only work if you have Adobe Premiere Pro. Most of us, however, don't. I, for one, use Final Cut Pro, so I have to actually take this composition into the render queue. How I do that, I just go to help, render queue, add to render queue, but that's also in composition, add to render queue. I just find it easier. So now it's in the render queue, and um, from here, all the settings are good right now. You just have to select the output to. I'll just output it to my desktop. And then if I hit render, it renders it and out um, and exports it to my desktop, highest quality possible. Okay, so that's all you need to start off with After Effects. From here on, it'll be an uphill. Um, it's actually an uphill battle. There's a small learning curve with After Effects. Once you get better with After Effects, you'll be able to do things quite immediately. So I encourage you to really just learn After Effects as quickly as possible. Devote one day to learning After Effects just completely, and from there on it will be a lot easier. So that's all I have for this tutorial. Any questions, you can um, just send me a message, and uh, Alex's email is in the description. And um, just make sure you guys su subscribe. Um, any helpful criticism would be uh, appreciated because this is one of my first tutorials. Um, sorry if I did anything wrong. And peace out.